This is problem 7-1, it's on page 269. Specify the standard 3V belt length from table 7-2, which by the way is on page 249, uh, that would be applied to two sheaves with pitch diameters of 5 and a quarter and 13.95 inches with a center distance of no more than 24 inches. So if you go to page 249, you'll find standard belt lengths for 3, 3 5, and 8V cross-section belts. So what we've been given is two pulleys, essentially, or two sheaves. We know that the center distance should be no more than 24 inches, so that's the maximum length. We know that the diameter of the smaller pulleys, which is D1, is 5 and a quarter inches. And we know the diameter of the larger pulley, which is D2, is 13.95 inches. Now the first thing to do is use the equation in the book. Let's see, it is on what page? Uh, the geometry equation for the V-belt drives is on page 242. The first equation to begin with is 7-3. And equation 7-3 just gives you uh, the length of the belt based on a center distance, a design center distance. So if you reference the equation, you'll see what I'm plugging in the uh, numbers into, but it's 2 times C, where C is the center distance between the two, plus 1.57 D2 plus D1, so that's 13.95, plus D1 is 5 and a quarter. All this has units of inches, so I won't bother uh, writing it in and add one more piece. It's D2, 13.95, less D1, 5.25 inches squared, divided by 4 times the center distance, which you get is 24. So notice, each of the terms has units of inches, uh, and so the length you come out with is 78.93 inches. So if you go into the book, of course, you're not going to find a V-belt that has a standard length of 78.93 inches. But once again, Go to page 249, look at the three V belts, and you'll see your options are anywhere from 25 inches all the way up to 140 inches. Now, the closest one to this 78 is 80 inches, but if you chose 80 inches, what would happen is the center distance would be longer than 24 inches, so you don't want to do that. So if we go from um, 80, the next one down is 75. So let's see. Now, of course, we could choose the 75, or we could choose something slightly shorter than that, but just for the sake of, of um, what we're doing, I'll say that I'm going to set the length to 75 inches. Okay, so this is the actual V-belt we're going to buy. It's a 75-inch belt, which means that if you measure it all the way around at the pitch, it's 75 inches, or so, pretty close at least. Now the next equation to use is equation 7-4. Now 7-4 and 7-3 almost look like they're just inverses of each other, in a way they are. But the purpose for 7-3 is to specify a center distance and get an approximate length of the belt that's required. The purpose of 7-4 is different. It's to get the actual center distance between the two pulleys based on a standard length belt. So now that we have a standard length belt of, uh, uh, of 75 inches, the first thing we have to do before we can use 7-4, uh, I'll go ahead and leave it here. But the first thing we really need to do is calculate B. Now B is a number that's used in 7-4. It's based on the center distance. It just makes the uh, formula for the uh, actual center distance simpler. It's 4L, so the length of the belt, 75 inches, uh, less 6.28, as we just discussed in class, that's 2 pi, times D2 plus D1, so that's 13.95 plus 5.25. Uh, so this is just a parameter we need for equation 7-4, and it comes out to 179.424 inches. Now I really don't have to keep all those uh, decimal places if I don't want to, because the center distance that we calculate here, although it's the actual center distance, really it's just the nominal center distance based on the standard belt length. And, of course, the belt will have to be tensioned, so it may be longer than this in the real world, maybe slightly shorter. The belt may be a little bit undersized when you buy it. So, in any case, it will always, you know, if it's a good design, there will always be some, um, uh, 
space available for tensioning. So the pulleys typically will move where there'll be a backside idler that's used to tension up the V belt. Anyway, so let's calculate the center distance. And if you look at the equation, the equation 7 4, then you find that the actual uh, center distance C will be B, which we had to calculate, 179.424, uh, plus the square root of B squared, 179.424 squared, uh, less 32 times D2 less D1, 13.95 less 5.25 uh, squared, divided by 4 times uh, the uh, no, not four times, I'm sorry, I'm thinking of this equation. Uh, just divided by 16. So there's our uh, uh, actual center distance equation. This comes out to about 22 inches. So there's the actual distance between the two pulleys.